Hello and welcome to Dental Education Channel. This channel created to simplify dentistry for both students and general practitioners. Today, this video will be the first video of many series about endodontics. Videos will be short and simple. I'll be using different cases. Every week, a new video will be uploaded here. And I want to assure, assure for all of you that if you will watch all the videos, you'll be able to treat about 90% or even more of endodontic cases. If you have any question or suggestion, please write it down in the comments. So let's start the presentation. We all know that endodontics is a very sensitive procedure and needs accuracy. Therefore, many preoperative procedures should be done before we start the treatment. Today, I'm going to talk about the first important step that should be done before start performing endodontics. And if you skip it, probability of endodontic treatment failure will be higher. So what is the first and important step? The first step is making x-ray and analyzing it. Always, always, before starting any dental treatment, you must make an x-ray. Why? Let's see the following examples. So the first reason is to find out if tooth is restorable or not. Actually, many reasons can make tooth not restorable, and here is some of them. The first one is bifurcation, perforation, and caries like in the first x-ray. If you look carefully, you will see that caries extends too deep into bifurcation. So this tooth obviously is non restorable. And that's one of the x-ray benefits. Secondly, severe bone loss due to periodontal disease like in the second picture. So in these cases, x-ray facilitated for us treatment plan and saved our time. Also x-ray, it helps us to identify pulp chamber condition. What do we mean about it? We mean about it conditions like normal pulp chamber like first case picture, picture number one and a calcified pulp chamber like in picture number two and abnormal pulp like deep pulp chamber with deep split like in picture three. Next is to know the root curvature. Root anatomy is highly complex and unpredictable. The knowledge of the, of the normal and its frequent variations can greatly enhance the success rate of endodontic practice. Routine periapical radiographs helps us to assess the number, length, curvature, and abrasion of the canal system of the tooth. Root canal curvatures can be apical curve, gradual curve, stickle shape curve. So let's see the two examples below. There is two preapical x-rays. So the first one molars with straight uh, root canals. However, on the second x-ray, you will find premolar with double curvature. So if you start negotiate this canal without making x-ray, this thing will be happening. Let's see. Of course, you will do a perforation. So the next reason why should we do an X-ray is to de determine how many canals and roots do the patient have. Let's see these examples below. As you see, there is incisor. And if you look carefully, you'll see that this incisor have two canals. So many dent dentists, they underestimate 
incisors and they think that it has only one canal and they treat it without even making x-ray so of course this will lead to the endodontic failure the next picture you will see that tooth have an extra root so this case we call it radix intomolaris so that's why x-ray is very important because without it we couldn't see this extra root on the third picture you'll see that premolar have a deep canal split which splits into two canals the next reason is to find out the canal conditions such as calcified narrow or wide apex of immature teeth look at the first picture you will see that pulp is almost cal calcified in the mesial can canal and on the second picture you will see how wide is the canal and both have different treatment plan so that's why x-ray is mandatory on the second picture you will see how wide is the canal therefore both of them have different treatment plan next is to find out lesions and their size location and severity whether is it small granuloma or big cyst or is it odontogenic or not or even maybe it could be benign or malignant as you can see in these examples below another importance of x-ray is to identify the tooth long axis unfortunately not all teeth have a straight axis and we should acknowledge that otherwise you will drill the tooth and of course you'll make perforation either with file or with burr next x-ray is mandatory when we have a previously treated tooth imagine that you started to treat these two cases without making x-ray of course you will fail and the patient will accuse you of this failure and sometimes they can sue you so therefore x-ray is absolutely needed and personally i prefer to make cbct in some treatment cases i mean with cbct it's cone beam computer tomography and the last important reason is to protect yourself of medical accountability i want to add to what i said before that nowadays patient document documentation became an essential thing in every dental office in order to protect yourself against false medical claims as some scammers try to get a compensation by suing doctors so don't be a victim and make documentation by using x-ray before any treatment so that's the end of the first video which was talking about the importance of endodontics so in my next videos i will go deeper into endodontics so be with us so next videos will be about uh, tooth canals and axis find canals and which tools and tips we need to find them mistakes and how to avoid them and also there will be an illustrating video with explanation of every step so be with us and please subscribe to get our latest videos thank you so much and i wish you all the best